Co-parenting with a high-conflict co-parent is really difficult on a lot of levels for many different reasons, and in each situation, they're all slightly unique. So this week, we got a question about what to do if your co-parent does not want to meet in person and is high-conflict, and so you can't transition the kids in person, but they need to take stuff with them, such as medicine and clothes and whatnot. How, How do you handle this? Hey, hey, welcome to the WTF Divorce Podcast. My name is Rob Roseman. On this show, we talk about everything divorce, whether you're thinking about divorce, going through it, or figuring out life after. Divorce, co-parenting, dating, we cover it all and break it into short clips so it's easy for you to find and learn from. If you want more help, head on over to WTFDivorce.com. Thanks for listening. On to today's show. Real quick, let's talk about today's sponsor. The WTF Divorce Podcast is sponsored by Our Family Wizard. If you're a co-parent, you know how frustrating it can be constantly going back and forth with your ex about the kids, schedule, and expenses. Our Family Wizard helps keep everything organized in one app, making co-parenting communication less stressful. More about how Our Family Wizard can help in a few minutes, but now on to today's show. Um, And so the answer really is it depends. It depends on your situation. Now you want to be you know, careful with your own boundaries, but you also have to remember that this is for the kids and this is what the kids need, particularly if they're young. So you need to come up with a creative solution. And this is where hiring a coach can be a good thing because sometimes you need to try more than one possible way uh, until you get to the right one that fits for your situation. Anyway, so some possibilities are to have a bin or a bag that's, you know, full of stuff that goes to mom or dad's house that you drop off at a time that you know your co-parent will be home in the evening, in the early morning or something like that after the child is with or children are with that parent and you can literally ding dong dash you know put it on the doorstep ring the doorbell go back to your car text them say hey it's here Uh, the other thing you can do is you can reach out to your children's school um, and instead of just bringing it with them and leaving it in the classroom perhaps there's a place in the office you can talk to the principal maybe there's a solution they can come up with where there's a spot that's out of the way that your child knows that their bin or their bag will be and they can bring it to their parent after school and that can transition that way Um, if finances aren't an issue think about buying things for your co-parents house enough clothes for the week or week and a half or however long they're going to be there. Um, extra medicine prescribed to them that le- that you leave at the co-parent's house that's there so that literally nothing has to go back and forth except for maybe one or two special items that can fit in your children's backpacks. Um, so these are all different possibilities. Uh, you could do a bin that you do do one, you know, in person, but you do it once a month and your child is responsible for collecting all the stuff and, and getting it back in the bin to get back to you so you can wash it all or, or whatever it is. Uh, again, different possibilities, different situations. You do your best and you remember this is for your kids. So try not and get to get a uh, tit for tat or be really resentful of what you're doing. You're doing your best for your children, no matter how the other parent is behaving. I'm Tamar Burris. I'm a divorce and co-parenting coach. You can find me at www.tamarburris.com or on the WTF Divorce Directory. The WTF Divorce Podcast is sponsored by Our Family Wizard. If you're a co-parent, you know how frustrating it can be constantly going back and forth with your ex about the kids, schedules, and expenses. Our Family Wizard helps keep everything organized in one app, making co-parenting communication less stressful. Here's Rachel to explain how Our Family Wizard changed her co-parenting life. Right after I filed for divorce, the texts and all the communicating with my ex became super stressful. Every text, every call, every time I scheduled an appointment, it was just emotionally draining. My attorney suggested using the Our Family Wizard app, and it completely saved my sanity. The constant texting stopped because all the communication moved into the app so I could check it when I was ready to respond. And for me, I really actually needed OFW. Um, It gave my lawyer some clear documentation of, um, let's say, ridiculous disputes. And I didn't have to email him hundreds of screenshots anymore. He could see it in the app. I tell all my friends also struggling with co-parenting about OFW, and everyone who tries it says it's a game changer for them too. Join more than 1 million parents and family law professionals who trust Our Family Wizard. Go to www.ourfamilywizard.com to get started today. That's www.ourfamilywizard.com.